result in increase in frequency and intensity of natural disaster. The impact of climate change and environmental degradation has been felt in South Asia for decades, characterized by floods, storm surges, droughts, cyclones, and heavy precipitation. These disasters take a huge toll on the region, displacing thousands of people every year. The impact of these natural hazards is amplified by the fact that most countries in the region lack strong economies and infrastructure to deal with disasters adequately. As natural disasters increase in severity and frequency, it is clear that environmental challenges will have a significant impact on migratory flows in the future. Bangladesh, Nepal and the Maldives are exposed to a different range of climate-induced hazards, but all three countries experience extreme variations in temperature and rainfall each year. Bangladesh is recognized as one of the most at-risk countries in the world with some estimates that over 9 million people, excluding temporary and seasonal migrants, will migrate within the country due to climatic factors between 2011 and 2050. Nearly 6 million people have already been displaced due to climatic effects in Bangladesh. Different parts of the country are affected differently. The north is more prone to riverbank erosion, erratic rainfall, and drought, while the southern part is affected by cyclones, storm surges, and salinity intrusion. Flooding affects almost the whole country, which increases riverbank erosion. In the northern part of Bangladesh, Siraganj is one district that has been affected by riverbank erosions. Schools, hospitals, agricultural land, and thousands of homes have been washed away by river water. Many families have been displaced multiple times, and this is expected to continue as the effects of climate change become even more intense. Internal migration triggered by climatic stressors is causing rapid urbanization in the form of slums around Bangladesh's main cities. The slum dwellers have very limited access to basic services like water, sanitation, health and education. Since most of the slums are established on government-owned land, they also lack the proper legal clearance, leaving the dwellers in constant fear of eviction. <laughs> Bangladesh faces cyclones on an annual basis, but in 2007 and 2009, Bangladesh's coast was affected by two major cyclones, which resulted in property damage and long-term consequences like salinity intrusion. These are natural disasters which Bangladesh have been facing over centuries. So on one hand we are most vulnerable, on the other hand we are more or less prepared for it. But one factor for which we are not prepared is sea level rise and salinity in areas. Bangladesh has created solutions to adapt to salinity intrusion, like shifting focus from rice crops to shrimp cultivation or to saline-tolerant varieties of crops. Still, many people have lost their agricultural livelihood and are forced to migrate in search of better opportunities. Nepal is equally vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Rising temperatures and changes in rainfall patterns over the past few decades have affected agricultural livelihood practices, exacerbating poverty and inequality. 
Agriculture still plays a major role, engaging about 60% of Nepal's total working population. Considering that the agricultural practices in the country still rely primarily on manual labor, with rain-fed agriculture as the main feature, climate change has created the need for diverse income sources. Erratic monsoon rains and other climatic hazards, combined with a burgeoning population and underemployment, have made migration an attractive alternative for citizens to support their livelihood. That's while Nepal already factors national level policy and institutional response to mainstream climate change into the development process, adapting to long and short term climate related problems requires creative engagement among different stakeholders, including government, market actors, and the civic movement, as well as actors in neighboring countries. The Maldives is another country highly vulnerable to climate change. Half of the population lives within 100 meters of the coast, and even a one meter rise in sea level would inundate 80% of the country's land area. The impacts of climate change on this small island nation are being felt acutely. The major climate-induced hazards include storm surges, tidal waves, sea swells, variations in sea surface temperature, rainfall, and environmental degradation that directly affect the citizens who depend on the fishing and tourism sectors for their livelihoods. Cement is hanging Algon Menakan no hip hect, Gia Lono Gasar, Purum Gasabu, Gaga Gengole, Huriha, Chisa, Egasar, Hurimis, Adimiharus, Puramung of Agende, Moda, Vara Karim Gasabu, me Emma Bodo, Gelumang Algon Mena Mivani, Fenuke, Masala, Miharus, Modu Lono, Fenber and Kalagotakan Algon Menge, Fenuke Masala Mihunani. The Maldives is also affected by an annual flooding event known as Uda, a phenomenon that's unique to this island nation, and although the causes of Uda are unknown, it can be described as an annual rise in the water level on the coast during the southwest monsoon, which causes coastal flooding. To address these challenges, IOM has been building evidence based on the nexus of migration, environment, and climate change in South Asia. IOM aims to build the resilience of communities to ensure that forced migration due to climatic factors is minimized, that assistance and durable solutions are provided to those forcibly displaced, and finally, that migration is integrated into climate change and disaster policy frameworks as an adaptation strategy for the years to come.